We've gotten a lot of cosigns over the years. Oh man. Mm -hmm. A long, long time ago, long time ago, mm -hmm. we got a cosign from Sorrow TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before that was he cool. before he left, before Rest he retired. In peace, King. I you're hope not you're living yet, your best life. Yeah, you know, you're out Happy. there doing your thing. Uh mm -hmm. Internet Historian, mm -hmm. quite a few times. Shouts I worked out. with Internet Historian. Shouts Travis has worked with Internet Historian. Internet Historian. You the guy. Love that guy. You the man. Shouts out to Australia. Good luck out there. Uh Olawulo. Mm -hmm. Right? Olawulo always hits us up. I'ma need you. And you need to find Jesus, Horn young man. Jail. But it, it in it's jail, fine. Prison. We love you anyway. Arrested. And recently, yeah. Casual Geographic. Now, the fact you left out the, the queen. queen. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't leave her out. I knew you were gonna bring her up. Lindsay Nicole, of course. But yes, Casual Geographic left a little blurb in there. He apologized for some asshole giving strikes out for the Casual Geographic vid. And then told us yeah. we were his favorite. Boom. Better than y'all. It was really exciting. It was really great. It was really motivating, mm -hmm. I feel like. Yeah. It was really motivating. It got me up that So morning. we're back. That's right. With more Casual Geographic. Better than ever. The title of this one is The Most Generational Rivalries in the Animal Kingdom. Crows. And I just Monkeys. want to go ahead and submit me and my mother. Oh, wow. That's a fucking <laughs> Damn. I was like, what do you got? I, whatever Casual has to say, never going to top me and my mom. I tried to like, you know, steal the top two draft picks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I tried to lose at the end of the season, put yeah. me on top, and then trade for number two. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you still got the fucking Patrick yeah. Mahomes. You did your best. Hope you guys are doing well. Staying safe and sanitized. Do you know who I am? I'm skitting. I'm back at it again. You know who that guy is. <laughs> we don't need to talk about him. Well, if they watch the videos, they know skitting who's back at it again. They might not know. <laughs> but if you don't know, now you know, Mr. President. Without further ado. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. Hey! Why is he galloping? Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, oh! Oh! Yeah! What cracks me up is her going, hey! Like that was gonna mm -hmm. stop him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, like I told you with that cat. Remember? You're yeah. like telling that cat to like shoo or go yeah. away. I go, babe, he doesn't speak English. You're just playing with him. He knows what no means. And really? I know he knows. And he does know what no means because now when I tell that cat no, he fucking listens. Uh huh. But before he was like, I'm coming back. <laughs> All I know is you give me attention. <laughs> he said, oh. Yeah, give me this. Give it, give this to me. What you want to do? What you want to do? You scared? I ain't never been scared. You soft, good boy. You know how much generational <laughs> hatred it takes to oh, rather have an op alive and crippled than just yeah. dead and out the way? Yeah. It's easy for us to forget, but for most animals, oh, nature's a shoot out from the jump, a gauntlet of grotesquerie, where if you die of old age, you're a spoiled minority, mm. and with millions trying to survive at the same time, that can only lead to one oh. thing, beef. And whether due to competition, an underdog Damn. finally biting back, or just an animal choosing problems over peace, My you're gonna God. see that some animals have a genuine grudge sequence into their DNA. Black. But two things real quick. One, this is technically a remake <laughs> of an older video, but as a rule of thumb, anything with iPhone 8 quality or Apple headphones for a mic should be disregarded. And two, okay. while the facts and fades might be true, you're gonna hear me anthropomorphize animals a lot in this video and treat them like humans. But at I the end of the day, it. animals are just playing the cards they were dealt and doing what comes naturally to survive. That being said, hating each other with prejudice-laced passion is what comes naturally to these two. Mm. Lions and hyenas might have a beef more infamous and more on sight than Tom and Jerry. Right. It's one that involves spawn killing, jujutsu yeah. thousand level jumpings, calorie jacking, <laughs> on both sides mind you, and the aforementioned handicapping. Lions and hyenas have generational beef that's been marinating for as long as they've been alive, and it's all thanks to the power struggle between. <laughs> Bro, why did, that's not why did funny. You, why did you? Why did? Why did you put that sound effect? Is why did a, you put the screaming sound effect? Is that effect? a sound effect or is that him actually screaming? No. Racial beef that's been marinating for as long as they've been alive, and it's all thanks to the bro. That's him. Look at look at it. He's also me. That's also what I would sound like. Like, first of all, you do not see him in this clip until he pop out the bush. There's nobody there. No. That's a rock or something or a bush. Yeah, maybe. no, absolutely. That ain't somebody's gonna Fermenting eat you. Handicapping. That's me. Lions and hyenas uh, have generational beef that's been marinating for as long as they've been alive, and it's all thanks to the. <laughs> all right, back to the video. Power struggle between an overgrown Afro kitty and a maligned mongoose on steroids. In some places, lions sit at the top, and in others, the Serengeti laugh tracks the dominant predator. Mm. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I don't have a bias, but there are no good guys or bad guys. Both are apex predators that start off life as pine-sized cubs just trying to survive the brutal RNG of life. Something I truly wish on none of you, Lord of the Beasts ain't a game you wanna play, mm. but maybe Beast Lord is. 
Beast Lord, The New Land is an animal themed strategy that was, mobile. That was you a bar. fucking got me. That was a bar. All right. Yeah. And with not only vivid level designs and a dope aesthetic, but more than 500 animals you can add to your party. If you play that game, I know who you are. I know what you are. You can't fool me. <laughs> if you're a lion cub, there's about a coin flip chance your story ends before the first chapter, and the laugh happy vice trap has a lot to do with it. Mm. And obviously, vice very much versa. But what if I told you this feel of fun family feud ain't even the worst beef lions have to deal with? You lose tough points when it takes 10 of you to press one of them. Right. Now, nah, but the real road blocks of this panther's pursuit of happiness? The animal's so vindictive, folks nicknamed <laughs> it Black Death and Widowmaker. K Buffalo stand on business, and they'll trap lions in trees for hours, and they'll even yeah. hit an Uno reverse and hunt the hunter. And with hers that can reach quadruple digits, they'll more than weaponize the power of friendship. Say what you will, I've never seen a hyena make a lion look like that. It's Not so to good. mention they'll play keep away with a lion cub. And it's all thanks to mobbing. And mobbing's exactly what you see here, and it's fueled by the yeah. beat between. A rogue, stealth assassin build without the bulk or squad advantage of lions and hyenas, and a highly intelligent, highly social tank of a primate. Divided baboons or leopard lunch meat. United and the leopard gets folded like an omelet. You know it's an iconic beef when the kids are involved, and both leopards and baboons will kidnap the young of each other. This With is leopards, crazy. some say it's a chess play to bait the baby's bigger, meatier parents. Oh, While man. baboons have enough foresight to cancel a cup before it can grow up into a problem. That's not the only theft they commit. Baboons oh, are underrated predators Lord. that will turn a gazelle baby shower into a homicide oh, in a happy meal. Which means oh, baboons aren't above pocket picking other rib. predators. Which makes it wild hypocritical that the same malice monkeys will ruin leopard hunts with an alarm call to warn their prey. It takes a special level of hatred to bread block a predator on the hunt. It's <laughs> right, bro. He's out here cock blocking in the club. He's got herpes. Yeah. He's got herpes. Shake his lip. Check his lid! <laughs> Your baby mama called him! You're so stupid. <laughs> it's like yeah. how we used to think humpback whales were the guardians of the sea for saving other animals from killer whales. The whole time it's an ancestrally traumatized cetacean going out of its way to interfere with orca hunts to make sure the zebras go home hungry. Boom. You see, the whale killers will often murk baby whales, and the humpback hood does not let that slide. The and it's not just on hood. site, any sense is an invitation. Oh, God. One time a pair of spike powered humpbacks sabotaged a group of orcas after a gray whale calf and proceeded to harass them. For six hours straight, seals, sunfish, and apparently even penguins have benefited from the beef. As the humpback motto states, no orca alive shall prosper. Hell it's yeah. On it might seem like the leopard That's gets briefed religiously in this beef. Just know when the lights go out, it's a different story. In mm -hmm. fact, it's the busted night vision and being the best tree climbing cat that makes it a bane to baboon. So I'd say it's pretty even. And if you're wondering what happened to him, he's fine. And the very next day, he was seen trying a trio of porcupines. So clearly his risk calculator's broken. But at least baboons he's have done. numbers on their side against an athletically disrespectful <laughs> feline. Oh, Imagine crazy. having problems with the biggest cat on the planet and having to run that fade solo. Mm -hmm. The tiger's the death stroke of the cat world. A yeah. walking census subtraction that'll take down gars, crocodiles, and tigers are on record eradicating <laughs> elephants. Fun. They even dare go after bears, including the most homicidal one on the planet. The sloth bear's gotta be the most trigger happy of the bears, and it's all oh. thanks to this thing I just made up called the predator prey paradox. <laughs> Basically, it means you're infinitely more fornicated in the fortune department if a moose presses you than if a bear, because with predators, you gotta convince them you're worth the effort. But an animal that already gets hunted will turn you into a was before they take time to judge your intent. Real life Baloo often gets bodied by tigers <laughs> and leopards. Also, most of their diet is insects, and the same claws that help them break into termite apartments means they can't just climb from the sky oh like some other my bears. God. Which means what you got here is a high strung insect eater with predator hardware. It's like a giant honey badger and they're so unpredictable that folks actually fear them more than they do tigers. Not for no reason, because despite having a bigger population and a wider range, brown bears actually murk half the people this floppy faced anxiety attack does. Wow. But you see the thing with tigers, bears can make up to 5% of their diet and they usually target cubs or moms with cubs. The tiger trauma runs so deep that since tiger that's mm -hmm. fucked up. Mm -hmm. That's fucked up. You know, we have a friend that also likes moms with kids. Not eating them. Oh, I was like, oh my God. Oh my <laughs> Lord. Not eating Jesus them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, I think he's a cannibal. I want to let everybody know. Who the who? Who the who? Who you talking about? My name is Jeff. He's married. He is married. Yeah. So is that don't you can't to say that. To a mom with kids. You can't say that no more. They're that's his kids. That, I said, that's his kids. <laughs> it's no They're his longer, kids. It's no but longer. He still likes a mom with kids. I just wanted to shout you out, Jeff. A What's mom up? with kids. They're not. They're his kids. <laughs> They're also my kid. Where the fuck my kids at, Jeff? <laughs> Bring my kids. Bring my kids back. <laughs> also, get on Diablo podcast. Nigga. All right, play the video. <laughs> Tigers have been known to imitate sandbar deer while hunting them. Sloth bears got Pavlov into panicking at the sound of real deer. So what you got here is a beef between a predator oh, and prey that yeah. opts for fight over flight. 
Slot bears will square up to a tiger head on, and the sheer balls of facing them can intimidate inexperienced tigers that don't know any better. The ones that do prefer to catch them slipping at the termite mound, ambushing the sloth bear and going for its neck. Because once the slothy has to grapple with a giant house cat, it's up for him. Yeah, but even that's... then, the equalizer of Asia better come correct, and sloth bears instinctively go for the face, and even in a losing Word. effort, the bear can cripple the tiger. Especially when it's a mother ready to die about her baby. And I was not kidding, put the aggressive Volca in the higher weight class and lions would have the same problems. And like any great beef, both sides have a healthy level of respect and fear, where sloth Ugh. bears usually avoid tigers, and tigers are generally wary of bears. Mm. Meanwhile, the next beef has one animal <laughs> literally praying they don't run into each other. 2020 had a lot of headlines, so many Ew. that you probably forgot the murder hornet subplot. I did! These were I Asian did giant hornets, and they are pretty much black air force That's energy in the form horrific. of a bug. Their sting is sharp enough to poke through gear beekeepers normally wear, mm -hmm. and their finishing move literally involves decapitating their prey with their mandibles. Hell yeah. In Japan, these homicide hornets knock off 30 to 50 people a year, and it's not a just year? people getting put on shirts. They That's also severely bleed lot. bees, and unlike bees, they can sting multiple times, can deliver 10 times the venom, are five times bigger, and are built like a tiny armored fighter jet. That's how murder hornets can obliterate entire beehives. So when the Asian hornets started popping up in the US, people were understandably shook. And it was believed only one bug could stand up to the aerial assault. The what praying is mantis is straight up oppressive. An ambush hunter that has lizards, frogs, fish, and even small birds on its body count. They have wings, but they rarely fly, because in a world of fight or flight, they've been made their choice. Mm -hmm. And in 2020, a video would go viral of a mantis murking a hornet, going for brain like a sapio. In mm -hmm. the wild, it's a different story, and it's often hornets that get caught packing up praying mantises. They're arguably the only insect that can give 10% of the Furious Five problems. But as you can see, a mantis won't miss a chance to settle the score, but who has the upper hand in his rivalry? Unfortunately, it might not be who you want. According to scientists, it's usually the mantis taking the L so much yeah, that mantises that are actually a well documented. So, is it like known that mantises are more popular than hornets? I don't. I mean, I would assume that they're more popular because they're not violent to us. Ah, so that because I can grab a mantis, I like that one. Yeah. I can't grab a hornet, I Correct. don't like that one. Right. Hornets are very, very they're cool. They're awful. Murder machines. Horrible. Like Kill you, them imagine all. you don't like a guy and you just let loose a hornet nest in his house. That's fucked up. <laughs> like, right? That's fucked up. You wouldn't up. let loose a mantis. Now, they have their uses is what I'm saying. God-fearing kung fu roaches get their licks in when they can. Pretty much everything has to go right for them to come out on top. Mm. But also, you peep out a Terminator termite ripped off its legs before eating it alive. Don't try and tell oh. me this ain't personal. Oh. The sad truth is, this hornet was actually anesthetized before it got manhandled. They literally had to nerf the hornet to gift wrap a Damn. W for the mantis. The mantis might not be the answer against a oh. bungee bug, but damn it if they don't give them a fight. Whoa. Hell, so do bees. The sunny bees have been known Damn. to swarm an offending hornet and vibrate so hard, they literally cook the wasp alive. Ah! And while both bees and yeah. mantises get their <laughs> moments, this is the first beef to have human intervention. But it's not like the next beef, which was 100% caused by humans. The heaviest snake on the planet is the green anaconda, and the second heaviest is currently slithering all over Florida. The Burmese python can measure mm -hmm. nearly 20 feet long, weigh up to and over 200 pounds, and kills anything from dogs to deer to birds to bobcats. Yes. Normally you'd have to go to Southeast Asia to see them, but thanks ah. to Florida's fetish for f***ery, along with illegal pet releases, the same predator that puts the noose in nuisance is now a legitimate part of the population. They were foreseen in the Everglades in 1979. Today, they're hundreds of thousands strong. Oh, nice There's even catch. a theory that in 1992, Florida folded to Hurricane Andrew, which leveled a python breeding facility and allowed them all to escape. What? Today yeah. is believed that for every one python Python that gets sighted, there's hundreds, if not up to a thousand, that don't. And with 30,000 sightings what? from 2008 to 2010, safe to say Florida's officially finding out. The problem is, back in Burma, they have tigers and leopards to keep them in check. But mm -hmm. here, there's only one animal that can hope to stop them. The cat. Alligators are a prehistoric okay. assault weapon, and on the rare, <laughs> they've been known to murk cougars and black bears. And as predators without prejudice, they'll also oh, feed yeah. on smaller snakes like the python. Nice. The problem is, once pythons get big enough, they'll eventually yep. spin the block and cook gators. So now what you got is a sledgehammer with teeth and a leather straight jacket in an arms race constantly trying to eat each other. And I'm still not doing the beef justice. When the bane of Burma swallows an oh, alligator, its God. body goes into overdrive. Its heart rate increases, organs like its heart, kidneys, and liver all get bigger, and its metabolism hits another gear. Not only can a python digest a whole alligator in only a week, if Dr. Steven wow. Sikor of the University of Alabama is right, it actually takes less energy for them to down a gator than other options like rats oh, or no. pigeons. 
I bet you think that's metal. Wait till you hear what he pulls. Cause pythons will actually read their victim's heart rate while squeezing them to death, so they know when to stop. Problem is, alligators can slow their heart rate all right. the way down to 2 to 3 beats a minute. Oh. This means the snake can end up calling it too soon and prematurely start swallowing the gator alive. Oh, no. Only for it to struggle hard enough to bust through the snake oh. like a messed up jack in the box. Oh. Well, they both died, but nothing says beef more than if I'm going down, best believe death taking this two for one. That's how ugly competition can oh. get. And this is the other side. That's fucking dope. Damn. I might go down. That's the kind of petty I am. That's why I'd be vibing with alligators so much. He's like, bro, I'm, I'm cooked. But I'm gonna take his ass exactly. out. I got one more move. Exactly. You know what it's I'm giving? burning the whole house down it's, with it's me. It's giving Netero in, in that Hunter x Hunter fight. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Because I'm gonna be gone, but everybody in this bitch is about to be gone. Oh, you thought I was a monk. <laughs> <laughs> That's jokes on you, bro. I'm crazy. Those are like, those are always my favorite moments in movies. Sad, of course, whatever. People die. Ugh. Yeah. Right. But like when the hero or maybe like a, a, an ally Sad of character. the hero Sad character. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. is like, I'm, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Right. You've stabbed me in the gut. Right. But I'm taking you off the cliff with me. Right. It's always like a grenade yeah. or like a lasso. Yeah. Or like, remember that grappling hook from episode two? <laughs> it's in your kneecap or we're jumping off the edge. Oh, it's over. The kneecap is awful because you wouldn't even have to die, but it's over. Tell Julia I said hi. Right. Ah! And this is the other side. Foxes and owls have no love lost, and it's for the classic reason of them pretty much having the same grocery list. Mm -hmm. Also, foxes will swipe owl chicks, and some owls, like the eagle Damn. owl, will murk them right back. But it's Damn. the snowy owl and the arctic fox that run into each other the most, especially with the white air force building nests on the ground, and foxes being willing to steal from anyone. Most of the time, mm -hmm. though, it's a lot of this. A lot of posturing and a whole lot of hold me back. Whether it's an owl fox feud or a reptile dysfunction, most animal rivalries just start with them trying to put food on their plate. Yeah. What about a beef between animals working together? Octopus will straight up deck fish in a face. Yes, they or will. In science, it's a case of workplace assault. Octopus and fish like groupers often team up to hunt since the octopus can chase prey through coral crevices and if the prey tries to do the race in open water, they get got by the grouper. Mm -hmm. We see two prongs. One, in a partnership, someone's bound to get shorted. And two, yeah. octopus are smart enough to hold grudges and just do stuff out of spite. An octopus named Truman decides he wasn't rocking with one of the researchers, so every time he'd see her, he'd give her the old siphon salt water shower. Eventually, she would go off to college and then come back months later to visit, and at that point, Truman hadn't been on disrespectful timing in a minute. Yeah, that streak ended the moment he saw her, as he super soaked her on set. So octopus that feel like they're getting cheated in a partnership are much more likely to get punchy. Sometimes they'll lash out just to keep the Ooh. fish in line. And sometimes if an octopus got backdoored in the past, they'll just project it all over a new fish that didn't even do anything. Damn. And since octopus can hunt with several fish at a time, they'll even get petty and ban the offender from the entire hunting party for the aquatic crime Damn. of embezzlement. That's why one of the worst things to beef with is intelligence. Oh, that's Just ask funny. coyotes, since ravens and coyotes often end up scavenging for the same scraps, especially when they belong to wolves. But of course, the generational instigator, the raven, will straight up snitch on coyotes trying to pinch off the wolf pack. That's so while Wally's running for his life, what does the raven do but fly directly over him like a helicopter during a police chase? Imagine that's being violated by a wolf pack, all because a god Tweety put a hit out. Last thing you want to do is make enemies oh with an animal smart God. enough to do something about it. Like something you're seeing in South Africa is learning the hard way. Because Cape Town's currently being overrun by baboons. And like most things, it's our fault. Because no matter what you tell them, there's always going to be tours feeding panhandling primates. Right. The only issue is baboon society runs on bullying, where dominant monkeys will basically steal the lunch money of lower ranks. Mm -hmm. So not only do baboons not fear humans, but run, because people kept feeding them, pockets. a lot of them see all humans as low ranks and treat them like it. And they've gotten OD disrespectful about it. <laughs> Cape Town baboons have been known to break into oh, houses to raid fridges, goodness. they'll mug small children, and you can even get <laughs> carjacked by a whole troop. <laughs> Thanks to the Cape Nature Conservation Bro. Laws Amendment Act, it's illegal to feed trap poison or kill the monkeys, meaning what these habitual line steppers are above the law. In 2011, a man went to court over shooting a baboon after he said eight of them broke into his kitchen and started attacking him and his wife. But with thug monkeys also stealing crops, some people said f*** it and started fighting back. Hell not yeah. only did the monkeys end up getting hurt or murked, it only makes the baboons lash out even harder. Mm, That's right. not the dental of an animal you want problems with. 
But at the end of the day, the baboons are just doing what comes naturally, and they wouldn't even have to be on timing if we didn't go and build a city on their front lawn. That's Plus, a if a baboon can go through your trash can and find more nutrition in 30 seconds than it would in six hours of foraging, so we can't right. be mad at them for working smarter. All we can do is what every other animal in this video already does and just find a way to deal with it, mm -hmm. even if it means a baboon takes your hood pass. But that's gonna do it for this <laughs> video. Make sure you drink water, hug your mother. Oh, God. Yo, for real, stop trying these monkeys, man. I promise you won't like how that story ends. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. That's comedy. That's cute. That's really cute. Aren't you singing? Yeah. Are you Snow White? <laughs> what is going on here? What's happening? I thought That's I was gonna fall asleep. I was waiting for it to fall asleep. I was about to take a nap. That was really cute. Bro, imagine slapping a monkey, then like a week later, a gang of monkeys come up like, see, like slapping monkeys. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit. That was a great video. I, I still don't think any of those beefs top mm -hmm. my beef. Okay. 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 Did he get close? Because he was eating the baby. Of, I was gonna say, but the yeah. <laughs> Tearing that rib, bro. He had that motherfucker. That monkey was eating that damn baby. Damn. So maybe. Yeah. So, you know what? And actually, that gator busted out the side of that anaconda. No, I so. can see you and your mom doing that. I can see y'all getting to that spot. I love know? my mom. She's great. Of course. Just, just over there. Don't know where to quit. <laughs> y'all don't need. Y'all need to quit earlier, way sooner. Let me know who you have generational beef with. Name names. It could be tag ads. It could be. <laughs> I was gonna say it could be a person, could be an animal, could be a food. Let me know. Yeah. Oh yeah. True. Thank you so much for joining me, husband. Uh huh. Don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations in the comments below. Peace out. Oh, biscuits. It's skin lit. <laughs>